This is how you can tell between truth and a lie. Power versus force, and this is it. Dr. Judge Goodhart in Applied Kinesiology found benign physical stimuli, such as nutritional supplements, would increase the strength of certain indicator muscles, while anemical stimulus would cause those muscle, mus, muscles to suddenly weaken. Then the work of Dr. John Diamond expanded on this and found that indicator muscles would strengthen or weaken in the presence of positive or negative emotional and intellectual stimuli, where a smile makes you test strong, where the statement, I hate you, will make you test weak. So he explained the test and i'm going to leave a, a little clip here you, you're welcome to, to, to skip it if you would like if the subject is in the presence of a negative stimuli the subject will lock their arms to the side if the subject is in the presence of a positive stimuli the subject is notably much stronger although pushing down no harder than before the muscle will not be able to resist pressure and the subject's arm will fall to his side subjects who are listening to tapes of known deceits such as lyndon johnson and edward kennedy universally tested weak while listening to recordings of demonstrable true statements they universally tested strong and and this was the starting point for the work of Dr. David R. Hawkins. It had been established that test subjects do not need any conscious acquaintance with the substance or issue being tested, What seems to be at work as a form of communal consciousness, a spiritus mundi, or a jung, a database of consciousness. Because of this test, any information about anybody is universally available, but because of our growth and limiting beliefs and life, as well as our biology, that we only experience what humans would describe consciousness as a byproduct of our nervous system, Belief in this would require restructuring of beliefs and values.